All right. There are no good shoes. That's fine. There are no good shoes coming out until like the fourth. Those SBs, the Michigan. SBs. Ain't some lightning supposed to be coming out? Yeah, but nobody knows when yet. It might be fall. If another shoe I'm not gonna fucking get, bro. They're, nigga, don't be pessimistic. I'm not, not gonna. I'm not gonna try for it. I'm going to try for him. I got another I kid been. on the way, bro. I gotta figure out. Fuck. Get the baby some jays. No, I'm about to buy jays for both these kids, nigga. Oh shit! So you're not gonna be able to get jays? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna still buy Jays, bro. I don't know, man. I made it like a mission to only wear Vans like for a cool minute. Fuck Just how this nigga Cone was on wearing Converse. Converse. Yo, and I really have only been wearing Jordans. Yeah, I know. Jordan fours, especially. I wear Vans all the time, bro. Vans on my feet make yeah, me my be my But that looked like you got an ice cream. Yeah, bro, but don't get too much, though. They don't get mad. Oh, I'm sorry. So you just gonna eat like, let this nigga walk in here and said, oh, they're going to nuts. I don't eat ice cream, bro. Those are all hers. Oh, and she really likes those. We went to the store, nigga, at 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday to get those. Oh. Oh, okay. I take it back. 3 o'clock this, this morning, nigga, to get them. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Pregnant life is Someone let that shit slide. Oh, Otherwise, I'm about to slide your shit. For my lady. Pause, 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 pause. That ain't gay, nigga. That's a fighting term. Oh, okay. What kind of fight? Pause. Yeah. He be watching that nasty shit. I do watch fight porn. I do watch that wrestling porn, nigga. I just started watching I do watch that shit, nigga. For... I don't know. It just... It just... It's just like, you ever, like, like, try and, like, get like get with a girl, bro, and, like, pretend fight or pretend tickle i mean yeah. it just brings like but nah not really i do it all the time i'm dark skinned i can't do that aggressive ass shit nah mm-hmm. i think i just pretend like tickle them or whatever nigga then it turns into like play fighting oh. he tickles then, himself at night and pretends yeah, that he do he be like uh. <laughs> nah bro i just go straight to the business nigga i ain't got you time just to pull play your dick out and start beating that shit yeah bro, if i play yeah. nigga if i play around <laughs> let's go knock on the door and be like daddy uh, okay, what you doing yeah. in the room yeah, you got a very close i got, you a, got a fucking <laughs> Five minutes, nigga. You gotta in stop watching in and out. before you you get yeah. So yeah. do you wait? Do you, you ever like, like wait till you're in a semi hard to start beating, or is it like a? Or have you ever held your dick? I wait till it's se- semi hard, yeah, nigga. Yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. my should be completely soft. No, like, I, it was yeah. so bad. I was like, do I really want to do this right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. It gives you a chance to think. I didn't talk myself out of plenty nuts now. Right, 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 right. Because you know you're just sitting there. You like fuck, man. I probably talk I'm myself to out of this like shit once. Up, right. Once? But you got to think, I'm going to have to clean this shit up after this, man. I got to stand up, go take a piss, man. Wash my hands. Clean up what, nigga? Just the t- nut on nut, my right. hand. Nut in. Like, I'm beating my. You just like the nut, like, <laughs> into hey, your bro. head? This a towel hey, for himself. Hey, hey. I, no, I just Stop nut. it now. <laughs> Mr. All right, all right, all right. Uh, calm down, yeah. Bukake. Yeah, you. Calm you down. I just nut in the toilet, nickname. nigga. Calm down, Bukake. <laughs> I need to nut in the toilet or on a paper towel, nigga. Oh, you nut. No clean oh, up. you beat your meat in the bathroom. What? Yeah, nigga. I stopped I do doing it straight in the toilet. Oh, Same. I stopped doing that. Oh, yeah. Well, you missing out. Nah, man. I used. Nah. It's different, bro. Cause you ever beat your meat after you took a shit? Like right that's after you took favorite. a shit. That's my favorite. You that's, are a that's nasty my, No, nigga, I love. I, ca- I can't. I have to clean myself first. Yo! And then I can proceed. Yo! Cause if, if I, I'm just sitting there thinking like I got shit in my ass. You don't need to flush the toilet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's just ass in the air. This nigga, yeah. I've, I got to clean that myself gone. first. That's a bidet. You sprayed a bidet. Oh, okay. You know what? Yours is bad. Okay, maybe yeah. that's different. Yeah, you got a bidet. Okay, yeah. There you go. We got you. You actually bidet. bleed. You actually you ever, bleed. You meet the cleanliest out of all niggas. You ever yeah, have to yeah. tell your girl you about to go go beat your dick? Sometimes I send that that's text like off like awkward I'm about to beat I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Bro, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, okay. <laughs> uh, no, nigga. Mm-hmm. Fucking, you know the whole the whole Twitter video trending thing of Mario Judah. What? Wait. Oh, oh, you don't know? No, oh. I'll pull it up right now. No, no. come on. No. What is it? So it was a, a video I, I, allegedly uh, of this nigga getting pegged by this buff ass Terry Crews looking motherfucker. But that's bro. not. But wait, this story gets better. But look, so I was at this nigga house. Wait, 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 wait. Was the Terry Crews nigga getting it? Bro, he was doing this shit. <laughs> he was fucking like he ain't fucking like he just got out of jail, nigga. He was streaming all lives matter, all up in that ass. 
<laughs> hey, regardless of whoever was on the end of that dick, bro, yeah, this nigga was, was getting, getting, getting it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. But yeah, we was at this nigga house, bro, oh, talking man. about this shit, and um, his girl comes in. Yeah. You know, so I'm like softly trying to explain, like, what we're talking about, right? But she doesn't know what it is, shit. so she tries to Hilarious. Google it, right? Oh. Pe- niggas getting look, pegged. She tried. I don't know what. Look, I don't know what Goodness she Googled, sweet. but the only thing that came up was Simon Pegg. <laughs> so we was like, "That's close enough. You don't have to go Which any way? further." Simon Pegg, the actor. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. And I tried to, I tried to explain it. And I was like, "So when a man loves a woman, and they engage in a certain act, yeah, pegging is just that, but reverse." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I had a conversation. And she probably like, but no, the no. man doesn't have a vagina. No, no, no. She still, she still wasn't getting it, yeah, bro. I, th- I thought of the greatest con- through that discussion. <laughs> I thought of the greatest content piece. What? We need to mic Elijah and Key. Oh, and just have them do things. Conversations, with Elijah right? And Key. So Elijah has key to, conversations. Is, is key conversations. Wow. Key conversations. And his, his trade off is I go to Bible study. He, no, Key has to go to Bricks. <laughs> And you, you have, have to, to go, go to, to Bible study, bro. Th- those are two episodes in themselves. Bro. Right, right. Wow. Yeah, I'm saying, like, can that, we record like both? Y'all of act like I'm a fucking heathen, nigga. I'm not a heathen. I mean, it's not that you're a heathen. I've been bro. to church, nigga. Yeah, that's cool. But when we have you, you ain't been with Key. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I go with my baby every week. Yeah, yes, nah. I do. It's not <laughs> against her. It's just yeah. nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That, that would be the best content piece ever. My goodness. That's what I'm saying. That, you're really right. It would, bro. But it might, I think it, it might, but I'd have to like, I'd have to like get real in my bag, nigga, like to key, like a whole bottle of tequila just to get in my bag to make sure like when she goes and like sees me, mm-hmm. it's like the real raunchy ass me. It's not no watered at down. Bricks? Not a, I, nah. Bricks is like, no. No, if we said like a bar, a it's got to be bar, like, 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 be like scary. the mint. Was that the mint? The oh, mint is yeah. fine. Man. The men is fine. Bricks. Well, I refuse to go back to Bricks. Uh, something or 1933. You ever been there? I'm in 1933. 1933. Yeah. What about that? I got fucked up off my ass, bro. In 1933, and started throwing up on myself in front of the entire Whoa. club, nigga. My nigga. You know this white crazy? lady was like, "Hey, we gotta call the hospital. This nigga about to die, bro." <laughs> for <laughs> some reason, seeing a black dude get fucked up. It's rare. It's it's so weird because like, like years that ago. happens. Yeah, yeah I was happened. throwing up on my fucking bait hoodie, nigga. Luckily, I missed I missed the majority of it. Oh, okay. and then I got in an Uber and was throwing up in the Uber and shit. You yeah, had to pay that fine. No, I was just a little bit from what I heard. I was fucked up. I don't remember. Oh shit, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Start the show. It's at 1942, All right. bro. Yeah. All right, everybody. How y'all doing today? Oh yeah, we well, he got to play the intro. I, sure, I forgot. I got to play the intro. Play That's the where intro. we need that from. Oh, right, but he's hey, look, we're taking applications. Ephraim, don't kill this nigga. The only requirement is that you have to be okay with sitting in the bathroom. With the toilet open. Rio. Rio. Now we can talk some shit. Rio. What's going on, everybody? I am your host, Heens. We are some young brother doing some dope shit. If you notice by now, we are in different spots. I'm your co-host here, Augusto Cone. <laughs> you dirty bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. You see, I Go pointed ahead. to you. Go ahead. He already introduced himself. Oh, he said it. Oh. It's Big Wolf coming live at you. I was gonna say some obscene shit, but we already said enough obscene shit. In the we beginning. did, we did. Yeah, definitely in the intro. what's going on, y'all? Man, not much. I bro. feel like it's been a long ass time since we recorded, bro. Well, you literally said that last time, but it's, it's every time. But the schedule hasn't changed. It's just the episodes yeah. change. Even my girl said that she feels like it's been a while since we don't spend any time together, bro. Shut the fuck up. Except. I mean, Except not really. Me. I ain't seen this thing in a long time. Yeah, oh, I actually true. haven't seen you in that's a while. That's true. Because I'm saying shut the fuck up. I live with you. So I'm like, I see and, this nigga uh, every man, day. I haven't seen this thing in a long <laughs> Shit, time. We work together. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Employees. You, is, you is boss. Yeah, that's my boss, technically. <laughs> technically. technically. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and, I'm y'all, and I'm your boss. <laughs> Today in the meeting. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> how that child was going in. A nigga that signed to a nigga. Wait, wait. That was too good of a nigga. That's bad. Look, let's do highs and lows. Let's do highs and lows. Let's do it. Highs and lows, everybody. Highs and lows. Are you on a, you uh, I'll go you first. I'll go first. So my high of the week. week. So they can see me. I'm going to run this like the Maury Povich show. So I run a mm-hmm. blog, if y'all don't know. Mm-hmm. Boom. Killjoy Media. Gang. We coming out with our first print magazine. <laughs> hopefully in a couple weeks, depending on how everything goes. But <laughs> look out for that shit. Mm. All right, first print magazine. Mm. You want yeah. some ad space? DM Hot Boy Heems. 
I'm gonna take care of you. But you right? know, some of these niggas can't read because we keep got, asking them pictures. to subscribe and comment and like, but they don't do it. But it's but, all right. It's all good. Floyd Mayweather got people that read for him, so I understand. He gonna whoop your ass. Nah, it's look. It's all right. He can't. Legally, he can't. <laughs> he can get a nigga to whoop my ass, but he can't do it. Look, I'm a one up. Next person that asked me to be on the show. Oh, no. I got one requirement. I'm not going to tell you oh, what no. the requirement is because then you're going to go and cheat. Yeah. yeah, yeah but if you that. pass this requirement, you can come on the show. We've actually said it in earlier episodes. We say it every damn near fucking mm-hmm. episode. We're not going to tell you which episode. But if you ask to be on the show, I'm going to say bet. I'm going to check for this requirement. If you pass, then we can talk. If right. not, fuck no. Okay. Sounds fair. Sounds fair. All right. All right. But so is that your high or your low? No, I'm my high of the week is the Killjoy magazine coming it's out. Low yeah. My low of the week is I'm broke as fuck. A week before rent, maybe? Ooh, I don't shit, know. Nigga. Yeah, That's a low, right? Hey, man, I got you this month, man. You know. I'm good. Dude. Would that make it? Would that make it feel better? Like, nah. no. This nigga, nah. you know, this I'm nigga's good. pride is so is so high. I got it's my not pri- even that. It's I got my pride, uh, nigga. Here we go. Check out the last episode. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take over the. How you feeling today, brother? Muhammad. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, as in the highs and the lows from this past week. I think the highs, the highs from this week have to be. You know, I I never put thought into this. I don't know. The low is my car and money. Per usual, every 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 day, bro. Like. That's every day. But the high probably has to be finding new pieces at the thrift store. Mm. Oh yeah, talk oh, about I'm that. Oh yeah, yeah. Finding some some new grail. Seeing the next generation of thrifters. Ooh. And um, I'm out one thrifters, of my the next generation. The next generation. And I'm out my contract. I'll speak. To, uh, I I. Oh. You know what? We're gonna take a quick break right now. <laughs> we'll get right back at you. Like herpes. <laughs> That shit don't go away, man. Yeah, just keep on going. Just ban- <laughs> banter, banter, banter. <laughs> banter. All right, everybody. So here at... All right, welcome back. Thank you guys for rocking with us through the commercial break. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I beat your Big wolf. <laughs> <laughs> What's your no, high and low, nigga? My high and low this week. All right, so... N- <laughs> like, what you go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, <the> fucking <laughs> gun, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so my high for this week is... um. Over close, <laughs> nigga. Shit. Yes, sir, go ahead. Damn, he always got to be on camera. You want to sit back up here? Nah, bro. You sure? I'm good. Damn, man. Beyonce don't... Be, she don't know how to chill. For, for real. Oh, so now I'm Beyonce? Yeah. No! All right. Psych! Now I'm dating, nigga. All right. You know your clock didn't start. That's oh, all right. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Thank bro. you, Danny King. <laughs> okay. Um. Damn. My high for this week, I would say just going through another week of work. Gang, cool. Trying to figure this shit out, bruh. And um, my low, y'all don't subscribe, comment, like, ask me how my day was. You know, simple things. That reminds me, yo. Shouts out to my boy Andrew Ruiz. Okay, he was the 40th follower. I said hey. I'm shout you on in the camera, Gang. and I did. We appreciate you here at DDS. We do. That's Thank really you so it, much. Bro. Thank yeah. you so no much. No cap. No cap. All right, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> you can talk about your new cellular. cellular. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, and I got a new phone. Yeah, that's good because yeah. this nigga had a piece of Wait, shit. Wait, you got a new phone? You got your. Uh, no, I did not. It's the wolf sales. Oh, hey. Yes. Shouts out to the people. Yes. Shouts out to the people. Your first investment from your profit. Y'all helped me out a lot. Yeah, man. That's I a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I know it is. You know what you should do, bro? Since you got that new phone off of your sales, you should find somebody else and show them what you got off your sales, nigga, and tell them that they that could be them if they start selling their own, your product, nigga. You know Let what? them know, bro. Say, hey, man, and I got this new phone from selling my wolf caps. You want yourself a new phone? Yeah. You sell these wolf caps, Wait, bro. So you're telling me that... If I distribute wolf caps mm-hmm. to other people and they distribute it to other people, they will reap an incredible amount of money. Right? So you're telling me if I sell the While wolf caps. While still cap, having them. If you sell the wolf cap, bro, you can majority. get yourself a new phone just like this man right here, wait, bro. Wait, I, I don't. Wait, Hold I don't on. think I, don't, I get it. I don't, I don't think, think I understand. I don't, I don't think the people are following. You <laughs> know what? <laughs> but our people at Prime America can help you. Prime no. America. Wake up now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it cracking. All right. So it's story time. But look, real quick. Listen man. to this, man. This is not a Hold slight up. on Prime America. No. It's more so fucking the Let people. me exp- uh, Have you ever been chilling, minding your motherfucking business? <laughs> Talk about and it. And you just get a random DM <laughs> from a nigga you knew about three, four years ago. 
that would probably just give you the when they saw you, but they in your DM. Extra nice today. <laughs> Talking about yo, bro, I got this the great new Oregon nigga. First up, first <laughs> off, hey man, how you been doing, man? I've been seeing you doing your just thing, bro. Seeing you doing your thing. Can we define what thing are you referring to? I don't know what the fuck. I I'm don't doing. know what thing you're. Referring I to. wake up every day <laughs> trying to figure out a thing that, I could do so I can make some money. Exactly. So, you but you me? see it. Yeah, but he but like but he see it. But he see they, it. They you recognize your you potential, Look, nigga. Listen, exactly. Boom. You know what? I'm being ungrateful. The, uh, I should be happy these niggas is out here seeing me doing my thing and coming to me with an opportunity to make more money. Just I, like they boss do. Yeah. Just like they boss do, and, and just they like do. they boss do. And you know what's crazy? They boss mm. got a new Corvette. Mm. And they planning they, on getting a new Corvette just like they boss. Right, right they, after. And they, 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 they ain't happy yet, but they planning on it. Cause but, they working hard. Because they boss balls had a Corvette. Then he got a Rolls Royce. And, they and a yacht. Go, they and a go yacht. To college. He didn't even go to college. He's a secretary secretary. So you can stand there with your degrees. <laughs> secretary, or secretary. you can go to prime fucking America. Uh, bruh. All right. So let's so just crack. If you didn't understand that intro, if they didn't understand, bro, I already caught this nigga. I already told you once. Yeah. Yo, what? Is it about the pyramid schemes in our dear in our in our age Yo, range? do you remember? Grade. But look. it's not, not not the beginning of it though. No, nah, but do you I remember, know, bro? I swear, look, I, when I when, we, when I was in school, bro, I swear there was a fucking pyramid scheme out here in Bakersfield, nigga. Yeah, fucking energy drinks, Burf. Yes. Yes. There was a pyramid scheme out in Bakersfield, nigga, with energy drinks, nigga. My nigga, Ruben Hill from high school, contacted <laughs> me saying, hey, you got an opportunity, bro, Mo, I see you. This is before the camera. This is before Gusso <laughs> Cone. This is just me posting bullshit on Instagram. He said, bro, you know, you a businessman. And that's the part I hate. Cause you know I, I like business. Yeah. So niggas come in like, yeah, you like business like how I like business. Come to this meeting. Oh my. Gosh, listen, nigga. <laughs> if I gotta go to a meeting at 8 p.m. some <laughs> random damn warehouse, nigga, I know I'm not gonna get a job. Why do I have to wear a suit? Nigga, I did that shit, bro. Nigga, I went to the meeting, nigga. I went to, so what happened? At the joint the, side. Everybody explain the story. To I, I even go look. I went to the meeting. It was like the it was. It felt like a cult, bro. Yeah, because everybody there was like way too excited, nigga. Hyped. <laughs> like there was way too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like they, they all had, just like, did five lines together, <laughs> holding nigga, hands and shit. They hyped like it's a Starting five of the championship game, nigga. They had a fucking <laughs> a line of people. <laughs> no, 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 and I'm sitting there like, all right, whatever, nigga. And then they start talking about how like the bosses got all this money and all yeah. this shit, bro. And they the trying to eat off. Yeah, he wasn't even there. He wasn't even. They had a picture of this nigga, bro. No. Yo, I swear to God, Barry, if I remember correctly, bro, it was a picture of this Barry nigga Jim with Jones his fucking butt. Nigga. Nah, Barry nigga, Jim. Santa Claus vibes. No, no, Jim Jones. Nigga. Not the rapper. <sighs> Oh Jim, no! Yeah, not Cole, the rapper. Not okay. the yes, rapper. Nigga. Barry Jim. And they were like, lives, "Yo, yes. he made all this money, Jamestown, and, and I'm on my way to make all this money Ray too. Jason. And you guys can do all that." Cause they were like recruiters, nigga. They was like, "This my this my little nigga right here, bro, right?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can make money off of the, the money that I make based off the money they making shit, yeah. bro. And I was like, they were like, "Yeah, you just got to get your license. You got to pay money for all this shit, bro." Mm. And I was already turned off from that idea before I even nigga. like. Let I mean. Let me so so wait let's so when did you know it was complete fuckery like that's what I like to know what was like people's, during during oh, the I, moment? honestly because walking in we didn't know it was fuckery or not no so I I, I didn't know it was fucking because walking in I didn't know what to expect right okay and then niggas started getting way too hype and congratulating awards and shit and even then some at bullshit that awards some yeah sixth place e awards. even at that point bro I was like all right is this really like stupid ass bullshit or do they really like. Maybe reward no no wait wait wait, like, wait wait we're not gonna don't d no no easy. i'm just, just saying like oh, that's a good portion don't do it oh, i just want to know when you call the fuckery because you coming up next on your story when, when they started talking about how we can make money okay this mean all right what about you what was your situation and when did you know it was complete fuckery so i was applying for jobs also like, just put it you down you down and out yeah down niggas, same yeah, same. yeah. yeah. that's how we get all niggas. were down Bro, all and all it happens at like the bottom of that shit nigga like that moment where are you thinking in your head, man? If I get a job, bro, nigga. it's a rat. Where you on your last pieces of chicken, bro? Nigga. nigga right now, nigga. Oh, so if a prime American nigga walked in this room right now and said, I'm like, go to the meeting. All right, come on. We go, we go rap. <laughs> nigga. No, nah, but um, I get a I get a phone call. They're like, yo, Tyron, you know, we seen your application and um we thought you'd be a great fit for our team. Come on down, you know. Yeah. And I'm young at this point, so I'm thinking, oh man. It's a dope opportunity. I don't know what the fuck these guys yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they just told me to come at a 
to a meeting that's at all 8 a.m. That's read. That's all you need to read when you're young and fucking vulnerable. That's it. Yeah. That's it. R- fuck reading. If somebody call you after, like, business hours, nigga, yeah. it was like 4 p.m. first off. 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. I've gotten called. I got, that's I've not gotten after money. business hours, but it's but still, damn near it's still close. late as fuck. Like, nigga, that's why I, I need to call that's me not, at no, 1 no. o'clock. That's the last hour no, I like, a for most I caught a rack with a business deal at 4 o'clock. Somebody was fucking up because they needed a photographer. Oh, that's different. That's last minute. Yeah, okay. But that's listen, different. Okay. This is from a corporation. Okay. Tilly's gonna call you at twelve p.m. Ten o'clock in the morning. Somewhere in the they mall, they are gonna call you early. Retail, they call you early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these niggas called me at four p.m. I should have known something was up. Yeah. I go to the meeting the next day somewhere downtown. They actually have a building. If anybody, one of y'all motherfuckers, is oh, watching, you talking about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah fuck right. y'all niggas. But they like always right keep right by the coffee spot. No, nah, it's across nah, from a no. liquor store. I think it's like it's, it's like actually further, right it's, by the Greyhound. It's on 19th, I think, yeah, but yeah. like further down, okay. like yeah. closer it's to right Oak. by the Greyhound. Where your friend bro. used to live? It's right by it's the closer Greyhound. Closer to that, yeah. It's, it's right by. You can probably see it. See it's it right from the, the front Greyhound. door, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right by exactly, the Greyhound. I know exactly who you was talking t- talking about. It's right by the Greyhound. <laughs> How they do it? Yeah, <laughs> right by the Greyhound. Right by the Greyhound. Anyway. So oh, that nigga, that thing you threw me the fuck off. <laughs> Them know. niggas got me. I know exactly. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I going. get there suited Boom. and booted. You Boom. know I'm looking good. African suited and booted, like you. What like, you mean, nigga? Good looking uh, nigga, I, suited and booted. Okay. Man. I got my tie on. I got Boom. my dress shirt on. Boom. Good That's skinny it, baby slacks. blue, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good skinny slacks. Brown <laughs> shoes, cause you know I got the blue on. Yeah. So I have a lot to learn how to do that eventually. And belt. In yeah. the brown belt. So okay. I'm sitting there. They're like, oh, wow, you're dressed so nice. Wow, you're you really ready, ready to get scammed? You're ready to go. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, you know, just chilling, waiting. I walked. We didn't even go inside. This whole time they're talking to us outside. Yeah. We didn't even go inside. After the fifth minute, I'm like, all right, we're still outside. Yeah. 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 When do we get to start this shit and go in? Yeah. I didn't know it had started five minutes prior. <laughs> Like when they started talking to me, saying yeah. I look nice, because that was the beginning of the scam. So we wait, get to the point. Answer the question. No. When did you realize? Is that was that your moment? No, my moment I, was. We're gonna go deeper in this, so don't. My you moment know. was when they said, "All you have to do." Ah, that ah, it. that is a dead giveaway on these That's situations. It. All you have. To All do. you have to do. See, you see, in my story, you know, like I said, I've been through a lot of scam situations, right? But you know. I, at this point, I like being invited to them because I just, uh, I just like to I just like to fuck up their infrastructure by using them. oh yeah troll from start from the moment it starts. This nigga to, heckles forex uh, niggas, bro. bro. <laughs> like, you got forex me. And what happened to them forex niggas? They still alive, bro. <laughs> they are. I, I ain't yeah. seen one in a minute. I think they went to crypto. <laughs> <laughs> I to, see the forex thing in a minute, no, bro. The they either went to crypto or G- GameStop, yeah, or AMC. I ain't seen them. You in know, a they know stocks and they know how investments work. You know, whatever. Honestly, but anyways, yeah, very similar to your story. But how is what the difference with me is that the person who kind of introduced me to the situation, it was kind of like a it was it was a personal thing. No, and Don't I, you I was, ever get the homie like. Bruh, a close homie. Bruh. You get a phone call saying so and so referred you, and you just be sitting there like, nigga. And bro, it's the worst. I so, still get a call to this day, bro. So can we say that this industry is definitely predatory? Yeah, uh, they, they they thrive on predatory shit, bro. Yeah. So because no nobody's gonna naturally go to them, nigga. Yeah, bro, or it nobody's takes a sense. sick nigga to go into one of these places and be like, yeah, this is where I'm gonna start it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so the funny thing is, we sitting here talking this shit, bro. What if it worked? No. That, All right, let's go to a fucking Prime America meeting. No, that's a seed that they want to plant, nigga. Right. So what if? What if? Just what, what if? if I could really get this yacht, nigga? Yeah. And the issue I got, the issue I got with the whole thing is the fact that these niggas were really sitting here trying to tell me how business works. Mm. I find that to be very offensive. How I'm the only nigga with a business degree, halfway masters. Mm. I don't count, nigga. I know, I know. You got just as much count, nigga. Because if you go back, as I do, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no, he pick up them credits. Yeah. He, he pick got up nothing. them credits. He got he pick, nothing, nigga. You pick up them credits. Uh, uh, thank you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. But anyways, nigga. And, but these niggas they are telling me. They, <laughs> these niggas telling me, oh, you're. We know you like entrepreneurship. 
I said, nigga, this is not entrepreneurial shit. This is not entrepreneurial shit. I said, who this told you this? Scam, nigga, this, this is not entrepreneurial shit. Like, that's and like saying said, working at said, McDonald's. You, and then that's how they fucked with me. This is when I knew it was a, and that's when I went complete troll. I went, oh, you want to troll me? What did they say? These niggas said, you like, I mean, if you like, if you like having a boss and this isn't for you. Mm. If you like having your own boss, this, this isn't for you. Mm. Over here, we like to hustle. They gaslit you. Right. They and, then that's, and that's why you, I said, cool, how much equity do you own? See, you lost that nigga. That nigga said, no, no, that nigga said, what's that word? <laughs> nigga. I heard this motherfucker. Equity? Say, I heard this. Can you use it in a sentence? I was watching the Joe Budden podcast. Uh, bruh, oh, I really don't, okay. I really don't understand how this shit keeps going, like how this shit continues. I really don't. But this is what part I, this is the part I hate. Oh, excuse me. Why I appreciate us mm. as a unit. We didn't crack. Yeah. We didn't crack. Yeah, I'm a, a skeptical ass nigga already. Bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, very yeah. little. Like yeah. I probably missed out on so many good opportunities <laughs> just because the shit was hella sus. There's so yeah. much pussy you ain't got, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I was, I was, I was a skeptical ice. ass it's, nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, not sitting on ice. That shit melted, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I'm a skeptical ass nigga, bro. Ice. So I really can't. that's them burnt off. <laughs> so I, re I really can't can't get scammed like that, bro. Like, nigga, I was skeptical from the moment I went in, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, you know, that's the thing, though. They get us to go in. I mean, I could go in anywhere. You know what I mean? But it's oh, like. That nigga will go to a KKK meeting. He will. Honestly, nigga. And I will just, <laughs> just be like, right what? about it. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I should have. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a skeptical ass <laughs> nigga, bro. What? So, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Coming nah, soon. Come. <laughs> <laughs> black man goes to KKK meeting in Bakersfield. Nah, black man go to Oil Dale. Yeah, Twenty four like, hours in Oil Dale. Twenty four hours in Oil Dale. <laughs> hey, Look, I'm not your cameraman. Hey, no, no. Hey, no. hey. We just walk. I record across the street. Yeah, yeah. And we just just walk yeah, walk the street to Oil Dale. Oil Dale, we we'll get us get us all killed. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can't come I, with me, yeah, nigga. You didn't go, this nigga. I didn't do nothing. With Chief Keef, and he put Chief Keef in Oildale, and this nigga, he might flip cars. I didn't do nothing because he wasn't in the car. He was sitting in the seat, nigga. What you talking about? Nothing. nothing, nothing, nothing. Anyways, but yeah, man, I'm a skeptical ass nigga, bro. They can't get me. So I'm my, saying that, like, nigga, I am a skeptical. I don't believe shit. I don't believe nothing. This nigga had the audacity to tell me he's 19. He's 19. He said, "I said, hey, what's what's your purpose behind all this?" You know, first of all, you making so much money. The OG who came in, he has all this money. I don't know. I guess he has some type of luxury watch. He literally had diamonds around. I can't even tell that if they were busted, busted. I said, "You like that? Mm. You you thought that was it?" I said, "I said I told bro straight up. I said, yo, you got a lot of rapper tendencies, bro. Mm. You got a lot of rapper tendencies, He's bro. Like yeah, man. yeah, and bro. And he doesn't understand. I, I don't think they be getting it when I be talking yeah, my man. shit." He said, yeah, man, you know. But then the 19-year-old was like, yeah, I just want to tell everybody who thought I couldn't, I could. Who told you you couldn't, nigga? You 19? <laughs> Fucking 19 years bro, that's old, crazy. bro. I don't even think there's anybody that told me I could. You ready for the kicker? He's a white male. Ain't bro, nobody. who's telling any white man? <laughs> he's, he's if six, anything, they're bro, like. Six, he was like 6'3", a white male. Who's telling you you can't do shit? You got height and you're white. What kind of haircut he got? I can't remember. You could probably guess. If he had that Captain America shit, bro, he getting money in. Bro, ain't it, nobody bro. telling a white person they can't do shit. Bro. Right. That's how, and that's how that's we got Especially America. with the Captain America cut, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Bro. That's why I don't, understand, I don't understand this industry. Somebody, they must be stopped. I do. What? It's what? Easy money. Do you know how many people are willing to give their money for some You know what? Like that? And that's funny, though, because, like, we'll, we'll, we'll take this. Watch out. Yeah. We'll take this on, on the she other end. clip. I, nigga, yeah. I just need to like, see me. Mm -hmm. But we'll take this on the other side. Just like there's niggas like us, bro, who sit there and be like, nigga, they not going to scam me. Mm -hmm. They not going to get me. America's a big fucking place, nigga. There are millions of people who get scammed by Prime America. Niggas get scammed every day, B. Every day. These niggas. Yeah, because I don't think them numbers are lies. <laughs> and, and that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think those numbers are lies yeah. either. I just yeah. don't think I those <laughs> niggas are getting those numbers. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, a nigga is getting those numbers. Somewhere, just but I don't think you. it's y'all niggas. Yeah. yeah I, you I, know what I mean? Like, there's no way. Like, bro was breaking down to me, like, and so how I flipped it, I already told you niggas. And at the end of the meeting, I said, so now I got everybody's numbers. Yeah. I know their whole business model. I understand everything. I said, who's doing your marketing? Oh, so I turned it into a whole cone meeting. Now wait. Now a business like this, you would love to be. This is where I don't fuck with these niggas. Right. You would love marketing because you're like, wait, I could do commercials to get more stupid niggas on my team? Right. 
I could do commercials to get. Why aren't there pro- Why aren't there Prime America commercials, <laughs> bro? Why? I told him. I said, bro, you can be an influencer in Prime America. I can give you the inspirational quotes. I don't expect you to have them. I think that's where I fucked up when I said that. Okay. But I was like, <laughs> that nigga was. Probably, they can, he probably oh, got he a whole booklet full of that shit, oh, bro. You said what? They probably got a book full of inspirational quotes. But I was like, bro, I can make graphics for you. All that shit. I can do everything. You pay that two seventy five. Uh, you get it. Nigga. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> a, no black book. Here you go. <laughs> But I was but like, bro, I was like, bro. What was the price? I said, bro. Sh- I said, shoot me a rack, a rack a month. Between how many people? Bro, it's three niggas. He claimed so now, one nigga claimed okay, he yeah, getting one the nigga claimed he's getting twenty thousand a month. Break. You okay, can't break, break the pyramid off, oh, down. Uh, but break the pyramid down, yeah, nigga. How much is the bottom nigga getting? Uh, Two bottom like, niggas. Okay, so they say he getting five hundred, but he can't get it out yet. What, this nigga got a Roth IRA, nigga? What, what's, what's going on? This is 400K. He can't yeah. get it to the end of the I year. What's going on? some jobs, B. You know when you work and you can't get the money out. Wait, what kind of jobs <laughs> where you work Wait. for money and you can't get the money out? But they, they got their 275 right away, right? Yeah. yeah, for him to sign up. See, it, and that's, see that's where... <laughs> You like, I'm not going to come looking for a job, nigga, and then have to pay you money to work here. <laughs> See, like, I'm broke because I buy stupid shit. Yeah. That right there, that's, I don't know. I low-key am surprised I didn't fall for it. Nah. nah. I, tell you, I, I would fight I, you if you said, I want to know. You're right. That. Buying I some J's at 275 is way better than paying for Prime America. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, because at least I get to wear them shits every day. <laughs> Yeah, but Prime America gives you the knowledge to get more money. You're mm-hmm. right. You're right. The You're internet right. closed. Them niggas almost got me, though. <laughs> the internet closed. Time out. Them niggas yeah. almost got me at that meeting because they said, well, Kobe's going to be at our convention. I said, what? Said, Kobe, Who? why the fuck? All the Kobe bullshit they just spewed. <laughs> but he was. He actually did go. How much they pay Kobe? I, I that, see, bag, I that bag must have been Now, stupid. here's the thing. They said it as the person that was running the conference was their boss. But right. what I think it is, they just bought tickets. <laughs> they said, we'll just give it to whoever, you know, is here. Y'all could go. That's ridiculous. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Bro, I, I don't understand. And this is, and like, the part that kills me is like, here we are busting our ass as entrepreneurs. Trying to. Putting every fucking cent that we get back into our fucking business and here these niggas walking on and be like, I give you 10000 a month. And the thing is, bro, is these niggas don't own shit. These niggas don't. They don't own shit. They don't own shit. They don't own shit. So if you were with this company. So do they rent those cars that be out in front, bro? What's going on? Those, no those, I'm, I'm saying, like, nigga, so they're, the bigger scam? they're making oh. money for somebody else. That's true. That's the whole pyramid scheme is you can come in and make money for yourself. And you can get a piece off of the money I'm making for which myself. Is, which is it's just. It's so ironic because they're. Preaching entrepreneur exactly, and the exactly. cool part it was like Do I was talking, I was talking like, um, so me and my girl were talking about it, and she's like, "Well, Muhammad, you know, just for the sake of discussion, you know, isn't every business structure like a pyramid?" And I said, "Yeah, you're right, but nobody gets paid at every level for signing a nigga." I'm about to say, "Yeah, no, underneath they, they, they so get a nigga that signed to another nigga, nigga that, that signed, signed to another niggas not right. as bad luck." <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, nigga, you go anywhere and have a manager, nigga, but they're not getting Shout paid. Shout out T, come on the show. Yeah, they're not yeah. getting paid for a nigga for signing you up to work there. You right. know what I mean? Right. That's and they like, don't get a cut of every sale you make. Exactly. Well, in taxes, they do. Shut up. You know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know, I know nah. exactly what you're talking about. Nah, but I'm just, but uh, there are tax breaks for it. So, that, that's different, nigga. Yeah, These niggas totally get a piece different. of your sale every time. Yeah. And that's where the pyramid comes into play because it just trickles down. Well, isn't it just the grand like corporation like model at small scale that's why we hate it because we see it working like this i like, no. i wouldn't say small scale bro maybe right. maybe like more personalized yeah you know what i mean like it affects it affects pe- like a person by person situation as opposed you to like see the person that runs the corporation yeah getting so, money off the yeah. next nigga and that money that nigga's getting money off so the next it's nigga it's easier for you to it's more personal yeah. yeah yeah what i don't like is that how people will sacrifice in the relationships that they develop that's with. what i'm saying that's what i don't like cuz i think about that i said okay i put myself in a headspace mm-hmm. i said mm, an extra couple thousand for me to wear a suit and say i sell life insurance hmm do i need it how bad do i want it? so who am i going to go to all right i'm going to go to my friends i'm going to sacrifice the time, the efforts, the arguments I have just for the sole fact of just $1, making a thousand dollars. You gotta find another way. I said I don't like 
That's why. That's why. I say, if you a hating ass nigga, yeah, you should start selling. You should work for Prime America. Yeah. You know who I love. <laughs> you know who I respect more than Prime American niggas. Who? No, actually, I. Not. A, no, I respect Prime American niggas. Yeah. Okay. Over. <laughs> that was a bank card. Bank card scammers. Bank card. Bank card scammers. Yeah. Nah, I put the bank card scammers over. Them niggas will put you in debt. Ten k. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not lying to you but, about it. But and, they don't, and you don't you lose your side, friendships nigga. in the process. Okay, yeah, but you that just is true because they do always choose random. Yeah. Well, who has the most money? It's not random. Okay. They're not gonna take a nigga. I, I, like, they, they hit I'm my not account. scared about a scammer at mm, all, bro. Yeah, no. And also to be Chase might give yeah. me my money back. They might be like, oh yeah. Oh, he knows right. about. They gonna drop the coke <laughs> off at the front. Yeah, right. Chase gonna drop money, little nigga. Chase gonna drop the brick off and be like, go ahead. Hey, move this shit, little nigga. He got no 15k in there. You think he' about to get us? Right, right. I'm sitting there like. <laughs> they gonna be like, "Boo, this break for us, little nigga. You get your money back that way." There it is. Shit. But yeah, I, you know, and and <laughs> like I said, in, in the synopsis <laughs> of everything, be yeah. funny. we gotta make sure that we stay, we stand ten toes down, true mm-hmm. to our vision, true to our purpose, and we cannot let any nigga with a fucking flashy watch who's claiming another nigga's money stop us from our grind. We are too great. We are yeah. too cool, and we're too fucking dope at what the fuck we do. We do dope shit. Period. You know what? That was really beautiful because you bring up a good point. Yeah. You can't let a nigga with a flashy watch get you, which is really relatable to hip-hop yeah. because, you yeah. know, niggas be capping in their rap. Yeah. And niggas be copying cappers. Yes. Like, yes. Hell yeah. And that's it, very odd. But now it's all entertainment, bro. Yeah, but now in our day day and age, like hey, the entertainment. Let me let me scene. ask you a question. I didn't mean to cut you off. You think fucking hip hop? No, you didn't. Just take that tangent from this nigga. He did. No, no. I was gonna trying to ask. I was just asking a question. This nigga sucks, bro. Uh, I'm not I, sitting in this chair again. <laughs> This that, nigga sucks. That nigga set up the whole play. He set the whole play up. You an asshole, Tyrone. Go repeat, ahead. Go please. Go ahead. Go ahead. So America knows. Better, nigga, does hip hop and <laughs> the internet it better hit. interchange? Right. Nigga, I'm gonna just fuck it all up. Uh, it I'm better just hit, nigga. Yo, shit, better hit. Nah, it won't hit. It's not. Do y'all niggas think the internet affects hip hop in any way? Hmm. Hmm. Compared to it, but the no, nah, but seriously, do you think oh. like hip? Like the internet has kind of shifted hip hop in the way. Of course, niggas dye like their hair. We relate to it. Yeah. Do you think so though? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 let me I don't. Let me I don't think so. Real quick. I don't there, think it's really changed. Niggas, there's six foes in Japan. The look, internet did that. Okay. Look, let me ask niggas a question. Had braids real, back in 2000. Let me ask a question okay. real quick. Okay. Okay. Damn it, nigga. <laughs> we talk about Prime America and this pyramid scheme and shit, bro. Do you All think right, that transcends into hip hop? Yeah. I'm only asking because, nigga. How many people you know who are signed to a label mm-hmm. who eventually start their own fucking label? No, mm. not even that. How and many then niggas that person do you, starts their own fucking label? Fuck that. How many mm. n- niggas do you know are signed to a label, not their own label, another label because of another rapper? What do you mean? Yeah, like y'all just said the same thing. No, no. I, what I, he's saying I, is he he said something a little different, but I'm uh, trying yeah, to like yeah. like he's saying what if somebody signs to Dreamville? Right. I'm saying what if J Cole gets somebody to sign to Rock Nation? You feel me? Okay. Like, is he signed to Rock Nation? Who, J. Cole? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm talking about like, so fucking, all right. Young so, Money. With the no, cash money. No, no. Look, so fucking no. Jay-Z, Jay- uh, Rock mm-hmm. Nation, right? Yeah. Boom. Kanye signed to Jay-Z. Boom. Yeah. Big right. Sean signed to Kanye. Boom. Good music. Now Good Big music. Sean is coming out with his own record label. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's primary. Yo, that's... <laughs> Yo, if I'm a rapper, that's what I'm, yeah, just, that's if I'm a rapper. I'm naming my label primary. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about, yeah. bro. It's like bro. like all these all these rappers. It's just it's like a fucking pyramid scheme. It's like what? a nigga has artists signing him, and that artist has another artist signing him, and then now that artist wants to come out with their you know own why fucking record. Niggas label. hate Diddy and Russ Simmons because there is no primerica. Mm. Them no. niggas said, "What y'all niggas think y'all doing? Yeah, y'all not starting shit under this. Yeah, Diddy owns everything. Right, Danity Kane, that's Diddy. Prime America, Prime America. Prime that's America. what I'm trying to say. Mace, that's I think, Diddy. I think we got the name of this episode. Yeah, Prime America. It's just, it's just crazy how like <laughs> Diddy come on the show. It's fucking. We love you. I'm yeah, so, really. I'm so fucking exhausted to see every fucking rapper trying to have their own goddamn label. But why, bro? Niggas. I mean, don't get, get me wrong, bro. I, I mean, but shouldn't they try and figure out their own shit first? What are you talking about? Hip hop is their own shit. No, I'm trying to say like. But if you ain't got your own label, can you get a chain? Yeah, <laughs> you can't get your own label chain exactly. exactly. And then you can't. So hand niggas it just want they own. Exactly. Like, I'm niggas, just trying to say like start labels for a chain. Yeah. <laughs> 
I just want to put chains on niggas without it being gay. Speaking of, have have y'all got? Wait, why do niggas wait, start labels though? For real, for real. <laughs> for the four PF chains. Yeah. Have y'all got Charles yet, nigga? Cause I've been waiting on mine. My four PF chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walmart, fuck you up, huh? Nah, nigga, baby, say nah. nah it's, it's straight from little baby, nah, bro. That Walmart I, shit, I, I, fuck I you up. I got the receipt, nigga. Nah, it's straight nigga. from little baby. I had a pins chain that <laughs> turned into Walmart. a. It turned into a. Uh, oh, you right. It turned into a ninety-two the, the chain. Ninety-two chain. Hey, then it turned into to, a seven hundred size chain. And then, and then who sold to a kill, a kill joint, joint chain. chain? Who signed? Hey, who I I signed to a Heems chain? I don't know look, what. I'm not even. I'm Lily. You in a three sixty deal with Every yourself, time nigga. Five. Today, <laughs> we want a chain. Look, look. <laughs> That's the, hey, I hey, need five I'm, chains, nigga. I'm, I'm designing a Call kill joint, a kill joint media chain. Call it chaining Tatum. All your label. Put. Branding Tatum. <laughs> Brandy. Brandy. So many brands that call me Brandy Tatum. <laughs> Yo, that's tight. That's tight. That's fucking that's tight. Because that's his favorite drink bar. Let me get. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah. many brands. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy Magazine coming yeah. out. <laughs> oh, uh, but no, nah, but Frodo, yeah. I, I, I really hate like. And this is just me being a hater, bro, because I'm I'm <laughs> all I'm all for everybody getting their fucking money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure, ain't nothing sure, wrong sure. with that, bro. It ain't nothing. We do need to see way more black black labels in hip hop. Yeah. Right. I just but don't understand. Independent. That's what I'm saying. I just don't understand why like it, it it's essentially a fucking pyramid scheme. You know, a black owned label, nobody ever, ever, ever really Are there any big or are well, there any big colored black labels? Quality anyways? control. Yeah. Um T D. I'm saying like that can compete oh, with like shit, un, like oh. universal or fucking um, nah. because a lot of these people ASAP mob. No, no, no. Listen, all oh, you guys are getting them. To, some, everybody has what this is the issue. I'm talking there's, about like Sony Universal. Uh, you understand? There's distribution Atlantic. deals. Yeah. There's publishing deals. Yeah. And then there's record labels. QC yes. there's, just there's, has. I think distribution. They might have distribution through yeah. like a Sony or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. yeah that, that's true. like the most common, isn't yeah. it? I I don't know. I don't that's how like good good music is like that with fucking. Mm. Um, I can't I think, know. but that's how good music Warner. Is. So understand, Which like, it's kind of like, it's, <laughs> no, it, what's, what's going on is that you have these, <laughs> y'all are stupid. These <laughs> trinities, <laughs> in, a good. these, like I said, these trinities in business, mm -hmm. right? Where you can say you got your label, your distributor, and your publisher. Like a pyramid. Pyramid. Like a pyramid. <laughs> and the issue is niggas say they start their own label, right? Yeah. So what happens is Sony, deal. their publishing and their distribution is still under this white brand, Sony, Warner Brother, whatever, right? And then they'll have their distribution through, uh, I forgot who the, the independent brand is. Ah, oh, I can't believe they just slipped my name. I can't remember. Who, RCA? Not RCA. Um, fuck. It Ray just Jesus. slipped my name. It just. <laughs> Shark. What's the name? Shark. What's the name on, on who, the show? Mark Cuban? No. Oh, the black dude. Yeah, black. Was it? <sighs> whatever his name is. Come on the show. Dark, Dark Shark. Dark Shark. Dark Shark. Dark Shark. Please come on. Oh, Dark Shark. Oh, I thought you was talking about hey, the Hey, Jasper and Arrow, they have their Shark own little. Tank. The shit I've been watching yeah, Jasper and Vice. Arrow do yeah. shit Yeah I've been watching yeah. it First time I've been watching yeah. that shit Crank All week show. bro It's great Crazy Jasper, Arrow and Dark Shark Come on the show Please please But what I'm saying is Niggas will change the label But the distribution And the publishing Doesn't change Yeah So what happens is As long You can And the thing is that From the eyes of the trip, Distribution and the publishing They don't mm -hmm. give a fuck What you call it They still get their money Forever 21's yeah. has Switch to Forever Twenty One's men. Yeah, well, that, that's that's how yeah. most of these, these exactly. labels that come up. Factory. Exactly. Yeah, most of these little labels that come up, they just have distribution deals with other companies and shit. Yeah. They're not necessarily a label like how Universal is. Or, I mean, fix this. yeah, how like um, Rock Nation is or anything yeah. like that. But like, I think fucking good music is like that. It's like distribution. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not mistaken. Good music is not standalone. It, no, it's not. I don't know if it's rock. So, but, so, I, it might be so rock what? Nation. What? What are the benefits for that? How does Kanye benefit um, from that outside of just owning? You don't have to pay for the CDs yourself. The artist masters. Who's buying shit. CDs? That's well, that's the million dollar question. That's why rappers have this hard issue. I mean, I guess you don't have to pay for certain things like branding and like um, what do you call it? You don't have have to pay for the videos yourself. Right. You know? Right. I mean, you cut a few costs. It's just somebody taking a percentage at the yeah. end of the day. But I still understand the why niggas are starting. Hey, I, don't, I don't understand the why. I is think it, to get into the area where you can build the own, like, structure the own label from if, the bottom <laughs> up is a lot harder. So they use this as a foot to get in the door. That's I, fair. That's I mean, fair. you're right. That's but fair. I honestly think, bro, nigga, like, it's no secret that, like, hip-hop at this point is a big-ass fucking game of copycat. Right? Mm. 
Yeah. For the most part, niggas see other niggas knows do what shit. The fuck they're doing. They, except for Jay Z. People have stopped yeah. knowing what the fuck they need to do, bro. And hip hop has has it's Soldier Boy has personified fuck. this nigga, nigga. Damn. Hi- hip hop has no. Let's really talk about that though, because what what Soldier Boy has maneuvered the like not just the mainstream but the corporate business world mm-hmm. to get to where the fuck he is with a Gucci head headband on with a Gucci fucking headband on but like put some respect on he's, Boy. isn't he independent I, I don't believe know. so. I I'm not. Know. I, don't I don't know. know. I don't I'm know saying like hip, hip hop has deal. has personified this whole you got to be a boss scenario. Yeah, Rick right. Ross, come if on no, if I, every fucking rapper, oh, I'm a boss. I own my all this shit, bro. Right. Yeah. I'm a boss. And that kind of oh. drives the whole factor with shit. Damn. Now, in my hip hop career, I've come to a certain point where I'm like hot shit. Right. Next step, I sign niggas. Have niggas signing me. Right. Not everybody needs to do that shit. Yeah, but the thing is that the people who are really good artists, I don't notice. I notice they don't really have artists like. Russ doesn't have anyone underneath him. Well, Russ is truly independent. And That's he, a true independent yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, but what what would be the difference? Because like, what do you mean? Like, so like Drake, J Cole. Yeah, it was rumored Kendrick with uh, PG Lang, mm-hmm. uh, Kanye. All these people were really good artists. They have their own labels and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Do we look at those differently as somebody maybe like Travis who has Cactus Jack or I don't fucking? Think so I think it's all the same shit. Because when you look at the talent within each of these groups, like Trav had gave us Don Tolliver and Sheck West. I don't give a even fuck like like Tom Little Baby with Four PS and he has that singer. or yeah. the Baby with um, fill in rapper. With, well, I don't know, but the Baby with, shit. Um, Stunning from Vegas. Yeah, Stunning yeah. from Vegas. I was gonna say that nigga from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Is he from Vegas? I don't wouldn't that be know. A, that that be a I hope so. <laughs> I really what if so. that nigga? What if he from a street called Vegas in mm. North Carolina or mm. South Carolina? That nigga from Vegas. That's my rap name. That, that nigga, nigga from, from Vegas. Vegas. That nigga gonna fight now, you. Now my rap name gonna be that nigga from whatever city I'm in at the time. Wow. <laughs> that <laughs> nigga from that in yeah. Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come get your yeah, tickets. Next week we got that nigga. That nigga from Florida. You just indecisive. He even started his rap career and he already changed his name six times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, if I start rapping, it's gonna be Young Heens with three E's and a dollar sign. So, uh, that stays, bro. All right. That All right. Anyway, nigga. I'm bringing so, MySpace back. Where do you think it's too much to? Where do you think it gets I to just, the point where it's too much? How do you feel about like Ti's grand hustle as opposed to who's just as opposed to good music? I don't. I think it. I think it's just at one point in the 2000s, it was just. It was protocol, even arguably today, but I think it was protocol to start a label. I think it was a way to avoid paying out contracts. I think there's a business move behind this that we don't know. Yeah. But not only that, that I don't but think we're gonna we're not gonna be privy to that information. But you no. got dudes like the Because true. every rapper does it. So true. there's there's there's, there's Niggas not, not every rapper does it. But Wiz Khalifa, a listen, a, a, Wiz Khalifa has done it and made a lot of money. Yeah. See what I'm saying? There there are rappers who do did it. it made a lot of money. He has his own label? Wait, Jet no. Life. Is, yeah. That's has, a whole he has, brand. He yeah. has artists on the Jet Life. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know that. Yeah, I think is Chevy Woods with Jet. No. Chevy Taylor. Woods, no, that's Taylor. 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 Yeah, Taylor. 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 they, they Taylor. next to each other. But he definitely does have artists on Jet Life for sure. But without, oh, what was I asking? But what I'm saying is like there are artists who like just keep giving you good artists along with their label. Like, very few do it well though. Very few. But I, really I think, think about few. all the rap. Think about all the rappers with labels. Which ones have ass artists in their label? Is Last King still a label? Oh. Wiz Khalifa does not have anyone under Taylor game. That's good. Chevy Woods is hard. Don't do that. Don't that's, that's, is, but don't I mean, do for me. like, is not. Last King still still a thing? No. I only heard, know of one artist ever I can't, signed the Last can't, King. I can't, Honey can't, Cocaine. And I don't think she stopped making music ten years ago. And I can't count Travis's quite yet because it's still too soon. I don't it's know, too, man. It's too early. It's too early. It's they got one concept, yeah. not just music wise, but branding wise. Bre- so, oh, oh, so yeah, those people, okay. they're they're signed to to Cactus Jack. Yeah. Like that's yeah. just how Travis's label is. He signed to Good Music still? Uh, no, he signed to Grant. I don't know if he's Grant still signed. Hu- to Grant Hustle is what I meant. Grant Hustle is what I meant. Is he still signed to Grant? Production. Grant? Yeah, I know. I'm not sure. You know, you you hit some, you miss some because Ti also signed. Iggy Azalea. Man, he dog walked the fuck out of here. And that shit. B.O.B. was like a mini T.I. But I know yeah. some artists, like, yeah. they, they give, probably have word offs. Yeah. They're probably walking in a room. I would hate to hang out with B.O.B. First nigga to say Don't dictionary stop. word win. I would. You'd hate to what? Hang out with B.O.B. Uh, B.O.B., come on the show. I feel like that'd be like a, a lesser, like a lame version of hanging out with Lupe Fiasco. You know you're owning something. 
At first, I called I you. I don't want to agree, but, but there's something about that. It's like it's not in a bad way, but it's, it's like not in when, a bad way. It's like bad when way. Goku left. Yeah, it's it's like when Goku way. left, and it was only Gohan there, but it was Kid Gohan, <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga used to wear the same suit, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't really do nothing in it, but you was nah, kind of high. It's like it's like when Goku left, nigga, and you had to hang out with Yamcha. <laughs> Krillin was hard though. No, Krillin was hard. I'm saying, Yamcha. Yamcha, that's like, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. No, nah, that's because you know that nigga. B.O.B. whoop this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he could have called you 10. That nigga <laughs> said Yamcha. <laughs> um, oh. Nah, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. But all of those artists do have hits though. Let's let's name an artist and let's say their label so we can clear Rick things Ross. up. Rick Ross. Oh, yeah, he did everything right. No, nope. okay, the Rick Ross, yeah, right. Yeah. right. MMG is there anybody in MMG who has their own label? Yeah, Meek Mill, Dream Chasers. Mm. And I, and you know what? Again, I will forever, <laughs> look, I will forever love MMG for the fact that bro Ross really takes care of his people. He does. Yeah. Those are real quality he people does. under his label because Dream Chasers is a real big ass thing, bro. It's huge. You that's what where I mean? the see that's okay rapper chain has been around forever death row whatever yeah but niggas was really getting hyped when you was giving away dream chaser chain yeah dream because did you hear the intro Dip set chains nigga <laughs> <laughs> nah they dream chasers. stop it nigga you what wait uh, time out you say Dipset or, dream, or, or dip set chains or, or dream no, no, dream chasers dip set yeah. chains were cool like this the little i'm not talking about the big gaudy oh, ass oh, eagle one the little one who got bro? the best chain rockefeller what, are you fucking kidding me? That's I, not don't, for discussion. I don't know. I don't know. If you YSL put a, chain is hard too. Yeah, but you seen Travis? Let's chains? go the other way. Let's Cactus, Cactus Jack chains. Jack? But that the worst chains. The, the worst chains. We the best. <laughs> 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 but even he got good artists. Ace Hood. Uh, that was <laughs> he's not, so he's not signing him no more. Not anymore. But he was. His bro. Wife, Ace Hood's wife. I'm about Ace to say, Hood. Hood. Hey, yeah. she Ace really believed. Man, she said, them stream it. plex. Listen, man. listen, man. And this goes back to the last episode we yeah. have. Somebody who stays when you down and builds you up back man. into the man you are supposed to be. Man, that's what a real life partner. But he wasn't do, even nigga. down, bro. He was really breaking records. No, he was he was really, he was really breaking, breaking records, records but yeah. down in like the public eye because oh, niggas true. ain't see him. And Ace, you know drop your diet is. and workout, bro. What the fuck, nigga? What? That nigga. Bro. You, what? You you ain't know, bro. You ain't know what his what his. Plan is. I already, I already know where this is going. Go you ahead. ain't know. I already Mama know. need a house. <laughs> Baby needs some shoes. Times is getting hard. So guess what I'm gonna do? Oh my god. Hustle. Hustle. I already, I already hustle. knew where that was going. Hard so nigga. You said you wouldn't even know. I already know where he this is going. Know, oh, he ain't know, bro. He ain't know. Shit. Same old shit, bro. <laughs> Just a, a different, different day. day. I just try, try to, to get, get it. it. Each, Each and every way. <laughs> Mama need a house. Baby needs some shoes. Times is getting hard. What you gonna do, brother? What we gonna do? So guess what, what we gonna do? We gonna hustle, 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 hard, hustle. That's it, right? You gotta hustle. Cut it there. Okay. No, hustle, hustle, hard, hard. nigga. Close you... mouth. Don't get fed on this boulevard. Stop. Prime America. Why? <laughs> why does he have to hustle? Start over, nigga. Uh, <laughs> why does he have to hustle hard? No, you just work out hard. So he can wake up in a Bugatti. <gasps> I need the what's how the intro. Uh, give, me, give me, give me, give me, give me the beginning. Give me all this stuff. This is what we need. Ephraim, we hit the board. Goddamn. Uh, you know, like, he say something about Haitians, bro. Uh, <laughs> damn. I need. A I woke up in a little Bugatti. Oh, I come looking for you with Haitians. We That's get money, that, you that, niggas. Uh, hey. What was, was, was Ace Hood's best? That wasn't so hard, it. bro. It was it was something else. But that wasn't he, damn. But I, was that Loki hard because of Ace Hood, nigga? Or yes, of Wayne? yes, yes. No, because no, no, of Ace Hood. Because of Ace Hood. Because of Ace Hood. Yeah. I'm not saying but he didn't Ace do his shit. Sort of introduced us to Future, really, with Bugatti. Mm. I come looking for you with nah, that started his 56. that started his feature shit, bro. That was before Fifty Six Nights. Yeah, way before Fifty Six Nights, bro, nigga. I, I'm talking two thousand eight, nine. So you wasn't listening the same damn time. I mean, what? that was one. For and Future? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. fucking uh, Tony, Tony Montana. Tony no, Montana. No. Tony Montana. This was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Bugatti so. was before. Yeah, man. Nah, it Bugatti. was probably around the same time as... Um, no, Bugatti was... I was Bugatti in college. Bugatti was not before. Was uh, it was probably be- 2012, around... What do you call it? What was the song you said? 
Uh, same name. Tony John. Montana. Oh nah. Yeah. No, Tony Montana was 2011 because I was driving in LA to it. So this has it to It might be. have been 2010 because Dream Chasers came out 2011. Yeah, so Tony Montana is... Tony Montana is 2012. 2012. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, the video came out 2012. I mean, the song dropped 2011. Mm-hmm. Because I remember bumping it in the Beamer. Maybe for sure. Yeah. I remember it being yeah, in Yeah, nah, Asa Bugatti came out 2013. I, oh. Damn, I'm good, bro. Right. Nobody check, bro. We do this hip hop shit. Damn. We do this hip hop shit, bro. I'm still giving it And taste, Same bro. Damn Time was 2011. Nigga. Yep. Okay. That was yeah. the first. So Same yeah. Damn Time was first. So telling future. Yeah, same Damn Time was first because then nigga had a, a, a remix with Diddy on the so remix. So when was, <laughs> that was sick. When was Turn On The Light? It was sick. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, Turn on the light. No, I'm fuck looking that. for. I gotta go to Twitter real quick, cause nigga, it was tell a me you're alley-ooping this into the next series. Oh yeah, but speaking of Twitter, have you ever just seen some wild ass shit on the TL? So we thought of a. How long has the camera been like that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was paying attention. <laughs> this is a good episode. That's why. This will be great. Damn, bro. How long, how long was the fucking camera so like? Oh, check real quick. yeah, check. Pause the shit. I can't when I hit pause. I, all right, look. In that case, then we go hope that there's no technical dig- technical difficulties. Dude, niggas dumb I think we about to write. I think we, I think we're good no, to no, rap no, here. No, 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 no. We got to talk we about. We go keep, keep it going. So yeah. we got a new segment on the DDS show called Bird Watching, where we bring you the wildest shit we've seen on social media. And we thought this would be a good time for you if you have any input into our bird watching series. Make sure to screenshot it, send it over our way, and we'll love to bring it up. So, Tyrone, please take it away with the shit that you told me or you saw on the TL this morning. Fuck. You know what? You're going to have to jog my memory because me. I low-key forgot. That, you talking about, that reminds me of some mm. shit yesterday, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all after the show. Have you ever seen a woman fake a pregnancy? Oh, yes. Thank what you. What do you mean, fake a pregnancy? Thank you. So, I like was on the TL. fake being pregnant by somebody? Nigga. For nine months. Nigga. Fake the whole pregnancy nine months. And Not that long. So, I was on. What? So I was on, that's the whole ter- damn near the whole turn. No, I'm saying like they faked it, but not for nine months. Oh, oh, it was like okay, a yeah, you right. Yeah. Oh yeah, scariest time of your life, nigga. So I'm on the TL today. That's why I'm saved and today. Listen, I'm on the TL. Wow, uh, lucky Danielle don't watch that. Uh, shit today. There it is. There it is. <laughs> they don't know everything already, I know, bro. I know. I can't do dirt that she don't know. Anyway, but so I'm on the TL this morning Boom. and I see a video of somebody at a gender reveal party. Yes. Typical shit. Girl does the shit, pops the confetti, it's pink. It's Boom. girl. She hype. The dude look mad. He wanted a boy. I look at the caption, hoping to see some look at that nigga being misog- misogynist. I expect yeah. that shit yeah, on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, course. This shit say, R.I.P. to my fake dead grandbaby. I yes. said, what? Wait, what? <laughs> yes. This is what the caption said. Yes. Hold on. This woman right here. Faked her pregnancy for nine months with my son. Yes. And when my son caught her, she denied it and continued to play the victim. Wait. Yeah. No, I know. Let was it. she? Was she um, showing? She had a solution she, for that. Yeah. Was Go she ahead, robust? Take it away, Tyrone. She wasn't robust, but she had the belly. Do you know why? Because she had the fake belly on, brother. She wore the fake belly every day. She wore the fake I'm sorry. belly. I'm every confused. Day. A concept that just seems so perplexed. You're confused, right? I'm confused because I'm currently going through a real pregnancy. Exactly. Exactly. Now, I feel this was a situation of you got me pregnant. Send me the, you know, the $800 for the abortion. Nah, yeah. We could keep it. Now, nah, you he know what? You never seen her naked? Listen. But nah, now we could keep it to turn. That- She's like, "You know what? Fuck you, nigga. I'm gonna have this baby anyway." And guess what? You don't get to fuck me no more. And they stopped talking. You never seen, seen her naked. I guess, nigga. Obviously not. If he's he said a gender reveal party, you want to know how I he just, found if, out? You know how uncomfortable it is for a pregnant woman to wear clothes, nigga. Mm. Yeah, nigga. I don't well, think I don't, he was but. around. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> oh my god, oh, went out the country. Because <laughs> I can't take my hat off, nigga. What? What? <laughs> I have, a, I have a sick joke. I'm gonna stop right no. there. I'm stop nah, right come there. on, bro. No, no, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so he finds out because one day he pops up on her. Boom. See the stomach on the flow. Do they have like ones for like different months? Like a four month, three yeah, months? They I don't do. know how they fill it up. Seriously? Do they fill it up with gel or probably something? Probably water or some it's shit. It's probably yeah. just silicone. Like the whole thing is probably silicone. Maybe. But he sees the fake shit on the floor. Guess what? She hmm. tries to deny it. What's she saying? <laughs> That ain't my real belly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I just took the baby out for a second. Yeah. I'm holding that out for. Yeah. <laughs> the baby was tired. I, uh, I put it to sleep real I quick. Put the baby down for a nap over Bro, there. <laughs> oh my gosh! But nah. So she continued to go on social media and fake a miscarriage. Nigga. Right after they found out, and she was accepting money, gifts, gifts. She went to the hospital. Probably. She had no. the fake ultrasound f- frame. Nigga, t- but but the ultrasound picture mm. was a Google rip. I'm about to say you can get this shit off Google because that's what happened yeah. with Offset. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. Fucking that bitch. Uh, what's oh. that bitch name? Selena Powell, whatever nigga. Why would she? Do she that? just took that shit off fucking Google. I hate. <laughs> See that's just being messy to be messy because a girl like that she know what the fuck she doing. That she is, know she could get caught. That is some prime American shit right that there. That is Honestly, some prime nigga, American shit right there. That's some super prime American <laughs> shit. Selena Powell, the next host of whatever the fuck conference Prime America mm-hmm. got going on next week, bruh. For you know, hey, Selena maybe. Powell is Tia, Tila Tequila. Uh, you know what happened to her? You know what? She went conf- she went ultra conservative. I used to watch her naked. She really? Yeah, she went ultra conservative. What did you say, nigga? I used to watch her naked. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game, Dude, nigga. nigga where at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have that for you. <laughs> we gonna have to wrap it up. We gonna have to wrap it right, up. Uh, <laughs> that's the end of our show today. Thank you for rocking with us. Thank y'all for being dope and doing dope shit. We gonna catch y'all next week. We about- and if y'all want to continue being dope. Come join the team. That's We're going to help y'all continue to be dope. We want to apologize if there was any camera issues because we didn't turn around the entire episode. <laughs> Let's no, keep it did. real. If you're watching this show, you're probably drunk or high. So We are taking applications because it seems who's our, hiring? Our, our, our fourth person oh. decides. Yeah, he know. said. Yeah, did, he, did he even text you back? Did he say he, he was did. coming? He, um, he was getting food, but it wasn't ready. Go ahead, rapper. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, this I nigga. am your host, <laughs> Big Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all in this stupid bathroom. <laughs> I've you, been your host, Big Wolf, I'm and this is Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I've been your host, Heems. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. And I'm your co-host here, Augusto Cone. <laughs> Thank you for watching Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Fuck it. Remember, and remember stay, happy, re- stay optimistic. Fuck <laughs> <it>. <laughs> for our musical guest, we got. <laughs>